So now, let's look forward and let's welcome Aaron on stage. So when I was eight years old, like I said, I was like naive, just eight years old, starting out life. I was watching YouTube and one day I realized I had enough. So I went to my mom and asked, mom, can I be a YouTuber? Because all the YouTubers that I see, their life is so easy going, you know? But I was able to come this far because she asked me one question and I'm going to ask you all this. What is the purpose of your social media channel? Now when she asked me this, I froze and thought I have no idea because I just wanted to start a YouTube channel but I had no idea what I was going to do. So I had this book laying around. It was this super cool uh, book, like it was a really big book about 2,000 fun facts about everything. And that is what made it to the final uh, cut, you would say. And I'd say I made like maybe a hundred videos on that. Of course, I experimented with other types of videos, but this one worked the best for me and for Aaron Place Fun Facts. So the purpose of my YouTube channel was to help kids and people learn about fun facts, just learn about everything in a fun way so they don't have to tire themselves out just by learning something and telling fun facts because I love sharing fun facts. Literally, that's what I do to my family on road trips or something. They get so tired of it. So there was a saying that you can have the most beautiful, the most well-structured, the most well-rounded video in the entire existence of YouTube that will ever exist on YouTube. But no one will watch it and it won't matter. So basically your YouTube channel is nothing without your audience. Again, take a step backwards and figure out who is your audience. So it'd be better if you just pick a specific audience and that is called a target audience. Quality over quantity, that is what most YouTube channels have learned throughout the years. There's no consistent success without strategy. Now you might see some, some YouTubers that pop out and they're getting so famous for one day, a few weeks, maybe a few months, but the one that have long-term success all start with a strategy. And that's why I'm hoping to inspire you all to have a strategy in mind too. Get real. As much as you would want to imagine that you can just sit behind a screen and record videos and get money for the rest of your life, you still got a life to live, man. So get real with your fans like I did today. You, when you get bigger, you can host events, um, have in-person meetups with your fans um, to connect with them. Uh, you, having a YouTube channel uh, takes a lot of responsibility. You can promise that, um, that you'll post every week, but of course you have your own life to live. If you're young like me, you still have to go to school. If you're an adult, unfortunately, sorry for you, you don't get to pass, you have to go to work. And so this is not going to be your life. This is going to be integrating into your life while you're growing your channel. So remember, Anything could happen. You may lose interest, you may get way busier, or just anything could happen. Whatever you think might happen, could happen. So be prepared for anything. Just like I have to be prepared for anything during the Q&A session, but here I am. Yeah, that's my presentation. Hope you enjoyed it and didn't get too bored.